Church Table View, welcome to day one of our five days of prayer and fasting. Um, we are so expectant and excited about what is going to happen this week. Um, we really believe God is going to speak to us and fill us up. Um, and um, yeah, I really want to encourage you, uh, whatever fast you are doing, Remember, the, the reason we're doing this is not to get God onto our agenda, not to say, hey, God, you know, come and sort this out for me. This is my agenda. We're actually fasting to say, God, we want to get onto your agenda. What is on your agenda? What is your will for us? Give us a fresh vision. Give us um, fresh hope. That's what we're trusting God for in this season. Amen. And so if you're fasting food, like Andre and I, we're doing a liquid fast. I want to encourage you every time you feel that physical hunger I want you to say God I'm even more hungry for you than I'm hungry for food right now and I'm gonna pray I'm gonna let that hunger remind me of how hungry I am for you and for your presence and I'm gonna get my Bible out and read your word maybe you are fasting social media because you have a medical condition and you can't fast food well when you would normally go check your Instagram why don't you say God I want you way more I want your presence way more I want to hear from you way more than I want to hear from anyone on Instagram and pull your Bible out and connect with God is that good but you know Andre and I have been praying about this week and um, and trusting God to speak to us and we really feel called to speak to you guys this week on the topic of dedication and so we're going to break it down over the next couple of days but i think for a lot of us when we hear the word dedication we can almost think of like a formal ceremony or like a special occasion that only happens once in a blue moon like like baby dedications which we actually had last week at our church there's there's always um, really special moments or maybe you think of like the dedication of a new building when a company opens up a new premises but really what I want to say to you guys this morning is that is that that is not really what dedication is dedication is actually something that we are called to live out every single day of our lives it's a decision that we make I want to read to you guys from Romans chapter 12 verse 1 this is the, the Amplified Bible and it says I appeal to you therefore brethren and beg of you in view of all the mercies of God to make a decisive dedication of your bodies presenting all your members members and faculties as a living sacrifice holy devoted and consecrated and well pleasing to God which is your reasonable rational intelligent surface service and spiritual worship come on church so we are called every day to wake up and, and make a decision make a choice to live a life that is dedicated to God and that's the first point point that I want to make about dedication dedication is a daily decision we do it every morning just practically how can we live that out and I want to encourage you guys to practice this during the fast so that it becomes a habit Wake, waking up in the morning and saying God I dedicate today to you how can I be a blessing to my family God I dedicate my family to you how can I lead my children in a way that honors you you can even say God I dedicate my heart to you every morning 
I've been doing that. God, I'm praying every morning. Thank you that my heart is undivided, that it is devoted fully to you and nothing else, that I'm single-minded in my pursuit of you. You can dedicate your home to God on a daily basis. Um, Andre and I bought a new home in September and we really felt like it was a, a blessing from God. We've been trusting God for um, a place that was a bit bigger um, because we wanted to be able to host more people. And so we got into the habit every night when we got this new house and we moved in, we would pray as a family and say, God, thank you for this house. We dedicate it to you. Thank you that this is a kingdom house. Thank you that people are gonna come into this house and feel your love. Thank you that leaders are gonna be trained up in this house. Thank you that so many view groups are gonna happen in this house. And we dedicated our house to God every single night. And then COVID-19 hits and we can't have anyone over in the house, but that's gonna change soon, amen. But you can dedicate your house to God. You can even dedicate your sleep to God. We've started doing that. Um, our little girls um, had a few nights of bad dreams and now every night we're praying, God, we dedicate our sleep to you. Um, if you want us to dream, I pray that they will be God dreams, that they will be dreams from you. Won't you protect our sleep? So you can dedicate every part of your life to God on a daily basis. Your finances. You can say, God, I'm dedicating my finances to you. Um, I'm not going to have a mindset that only 10% belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all comes from you. But you ask for 10%. But with that other 90%, God, I dedicate it to you. Help me to be a good steward. Amen. The second point I want to make about dedication is that it requires persistence. So when Andre and I moved into our new house in September, um, we, we love having the extra space, but we learned quite quickly that we need to be persistently dedicated to looking after this house. Otherwise, before you know it, there's paint chipping everywhere, there's weeds growing, the garden's not looking so hot. We don't really have green fingers, but dedication requires persistence. It's something that you can't just start off and then leave. There needs to be persistence, amen? And you know, I think so often as humans, what we do is in a time of a crisis like COVID-19, we cry out to God and we become dedicated to Him and we become focused. But then as soon as things get easy again, we almost, pull away and we're not so dedicated. We see that in the Bible, the Israelites did it. They were, um, they were, they were slaves in Egypt. Um, Pharaoh had them there um, against their will. And God parts the Red Sea and helps them to escape and they are, you know, dedicated to Him. But after a while, you know, they're heading to the Promised Land. They're not slaves anymore. Their dedication starts to drop. And before you know it, they're worshiping golden idols. And that didn't end well for them. We know that the Israelites never got to see the promised land, not that generation. And the point I'm trying to make is that we're called to live lives of dedication, but they require perseverance. We're called to be people who are dedicated to God. In the really, really tough seasons, when we feel like we can't make it without Him, and in the really, really good seasons, we say, God, I'm still dedicated to you. I need you just as much. Amen. And then point number three, my last point, is that our purpose is wrapped up in dedication. I can guarantee you guys, unless you are waking up in the morning and saying, God, my purpose is in being your hands and your feet. My purpose is to do what you want me to do. You are not going to live feeling fulfilled. Maybe your purpose is wrapped up in your career. Maybe your purpose is wrapped up in um, a degree. Maybe your purpose is wrapped up in your spouse. None of those things are gonna fulfill you. The only thing that is gonna fulfill you is you living out your God-given destiny and, and, and actually realizing that your purpose is to be the hands and feet of our Savior, Jesus. Amen? I hope that encourages you guys. We are going to dive a lot deeper into dedication over the next few days. Um, but I want to encourage you just to 
spend time in God's presence. We're going to go into some worship now. I want to encourage you, dedicate your day to Him today. Dedicate your heart to Him. Dedicate your time in the traffic. Dedicate the way you spend time and speak to your family. Dedicate every part of your day and let Him speak to you and mold you and shape you. I'm just going to pray for us. Father God, we just surrender to you now in this moment. And we say we want to be people who live lives of dedication. God, you are our purpose. You are our cause. You are our reason. And won't you just, yeah, won't you make that come alive in our hearts like never before this week as we seek you and we seek your presence. Holy Spirit, won't you fill us up from the top to the bottom with a fresh anointing in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Mm-hmm.